Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to start installing the vintage air system on my 1971 Chevrolet Corvette. Um, I purchased this system earlier this year and I had to do some other work on the car so we're just now getting around to putting this in. Starting out, uh, I did a video showing the parts and everything. One thing I did in the meantime, I went ahead and powder coated all my uh, compressor brackets and bushings and spacers. They just come as raw metal. And uh, so I, I took a, a sander and sanded all the rough edges off of them, sharp edges, and powder coated them in a satin black. So now we're ready to start installing the system. Um, one thing you want to do, I highly recommend, as soon as you get the system, of course, get everything unboxed, make sure you have all the parts you're supposed to have, and then take your time and sit down and, and read through this assembly uh, manual a couple of times. It's got a lot of really good information in it. it. It lays out all the parts. It's very detailed, but there's a lot of important notices in, in, uh, in this uh, beginning of the manual. And it's very important you read through these because if you don't, you could, you could damage your system. You could hook things up wrong. You'd have to go back and redo stuff. It's just um, Vintage Air does a really good job of being very detailed on this system and everything you should do and the order you should do it in. Now, the first part of the book, it shows the uh, disassembly of the old AC unit because my car had factory air in it. When I was working on the engine and everything, I went ahead and pulled all the old factory AC unit out of the car. Um, so I don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, as far as the disassembly part of it. And I won't be showing that on video because I did not videotape any of that. But anyway, we'll start probably here um, where uh, it starts assembling stuff into the car. And there's really, like I, like I said before, read this a couple times because there's, there's information here. If you miss it, you're going to have to be redoing stuff. Uh, it, it's like on the condenser assembly. Uh, there's a, a small fitting and a big fitting and I'm not sure which way mine goes, but it, it, if you can put it in there upside down and not realize it. So make sure you're putting it in the correct uh, position initially or you'll be taking it back out, taking the brackets off, redoing it all again. So like I say, that's why it's kind of important maybe read through these a couple times before you start on it and get familiar with everything and what you have to do. And then my plan is every, uh, every section I'm going to lay the parts out for that section and familiarize myself with them and make sure that um, I am putting it together correctly the first time. So I'll have to go back and redo it. Some of this stuff is pressurized with nitrogen to keep moisture and stuff out of the systems. I believe the compressor is pressurized with nitrogen. So when you go to loosen the, the caps on everything, just be aware that it might release some, some gas out. It's, it's not anything to worry about. Just be aware of it. And always keep... Uh, all your fittings and everything on the lines, on the compressor, on everything that's got a cap on it. Leave it on there until you're ready to assemble it. You want to keep moisture out of all this stuff and dirt and everything because that could damage your system. So uh, Vintage Air is really good about plugging everything up, sealing everything off so it stays good and clean and dry for you when you go to put it in. So just be aware of that. Don't start taking caps off everything and, until you're ready to install them. Other thing, make sure you wear proper safety equipment, safety glasses, things like that, because again, there is pressurized gas in some of the parts. Uh, you're gonna be doing a little bit of cutting and grinding and stuff, so always think safety. Uh, so anyway, let me get the, the camera set up on the first assembly here. We're going to do the uh, condenser assembly and installation first, along with the dryer. So let me get set up with the camera and we'll go from there. Okay, so here are the instructions for the um, condenser. And like I was saying before, you wanna make sure you get this condenser the right direction because it, it'll go either way. And the big difference is on the fittings, on the top, it takes the number eight fitting, the bottom is the number six fitting. So there's just a little bit of difference in size in the fitting. So make sure you put the, at least on my particular application, you put the bigger fitting to the top. And then it shows you which holes to go into, into the condenser itself so it's going to fit correctly onto the car. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this.
I'm running my first snag. I can't get my thing in there with these tights. I'm going to have to loosen these up so I can pull it out to, I hope to get that on there. Kind of tight fit. Put a little bit of oil on those threads so they don't gold up on me. It's aluminum and steel, but it still feels like it could gold up. Yeah, it'll give you none too much wiggle room in there. Okay, I got that one on. Let me get the bottom one on. Wow, tight, tight. Now comes the hard part, trying to figure out how that goes in there. That hooks on. That goes like that. Make sure I get the flow right through this dryer. It's showing the flow in and out, so I put an extra arrow on top there, so I had a way to double check myself while I'm putting this in. I don't know how this is going to fit in there. It's supposed to bolt between these two lines, and then there's a bracket that goes around it that hooks into the center radiator mounting bolt. it down in there okay and now one thing I think I screwed up on and I should have done that before I put the dryer on is the trinary valve that's a trinary switch and it actually um, kicks the compressor off and on it's like a high pressure switch in case you're low on gas won't turn the compressor on plus it's got uh, the ability to turn an electric fan off and on and uh, which I'm not putting that on mine right now but someday I might so I'm going to put it in there that way I'll have to drain my Freon down to put it in later and it won't hurt anything if it's in there but I don't think okay so it does show it on the front of that it's got to go right on the front right there so I'm going to take that plug off. Looks like maybe half an inch.
Okay. Now I gotta figure out how to mount this baby on there. Okay, now we're gonna mount the compressor. This is for a small block Chevy. It shows you where all the spacers have to go and everything, so let me get set up and we'll start doing that. Okay, so far today on this video, we've gotten the uh, condenser put in, mounted in place. I've got the dryer, the trinary switch put in the dryer. I got the hard lines hooked into the dryer, and I have the compressor mounted. So anyway, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. Please leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.